you have to be a little psychotic to not just go get a job, to be an entrepreneur, to put everything at risk, to go take on that weight of, of leading an organization like that. You know, you've got to be a little psychotic, but one of the reasons that I do it is because I so value freedom and autonomy. And so I really had to wrestle with what am I going to do? Because I loved what I got to do with EOS. One night I started jotting down, all right, if I had to do my own framework, what would it be? And what I believe was an inspired moment. This idea came to me. I started writing down and System and Soul was born. Three, two, one. System and Soul is a framework for your business, but it combines the system and the soul. A system in a business is the thing that can accelerate that, that value creation, right? That's why we put in a system. We want to create value. We know we can create value. We get stuck, we hit a ceiling or we're growing so fast. So we got to put in that system. But the soul, the soul is what creates that ultimate competitive advantage. It's what attracts customers to us, attracts employees to us. It makes those employees and customers champions of our business that tell other people about us. It's what helps us retain those employees and retain those customers and create this magnetism to our organization. When we have a system and a soul, then we start to put together the sustainability and durability to build a great company over a long period of time. We have to be very conscious about engineering the place that we want to work ourselves, but then invite other people into. And that's the greatest gift that we get to give as entrepreneurs is that workplace, is the soul of our organization. And so when this model and system and soul came together, it was one of those moments where it was like, there's just no turning back. There is no decision for me, this is it. This has been given to me, how, you know, inspired, learning, experience, however, but now it's a gift that I have to give the world. I showed it to you, Chris, and it wasn't fully fleshed out. I was so shocked at your reaction, made you even open to the idea of leaving um, an amazing career with EOS. I didn't know what I was going to do, to be honest with you. I was really, it was, there was fear, there was insecurity um timing because you know I, I'm 56 and I was I got about you know I wanted to make a really big impact in the next 10 years of my life and so now you present you know your idea but what we felt or what you felt was missing was the cultural piece yeah. especially in the world today and it's like we're losing our soul so when those two come together, your design of people, and when they come in synchronization, that creates harmony. That impact that I want to make in the next 10 years, is it going to, is it going to be me staying the same and comfortable and content? Or do I have it in me now to break out and get after it again and make an even bigger impact? That's when I made my decision. Neither one of us is starting over from scratch. We're starting over from experience. Hell yeah, let's go do this.